and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Victoria and uh, I live in Sweden and I am Swedish. But as you know, or if you don't know, uh, if you don't have followed me so much, I travel a lot. I have been working as a model and I have uh, uh, lots of people around the world I know, so I love to visit them. And also traveling is my biggest passion in life. So it's like going around the world and see different parts and see different cultures. I just, I just love that so much. So in this video, I will list things that I really miss here in Sweden when I am in other countries. So uh, yeah, I have a little little paper so I can uh, so I don't miss anything here. Like yeah. So we start with the first thing, and that is the quiet thing. The quietness here in Sweden is really really nice. It's so quiet everywhere if you compare to other cities and other places on Earth. I mean, even if you compare this uh, like Stockholm or Gothenburg, which is the biggest cities, uh, compared to like other cities that is not even the biggest cities on other parts. It's just so much more quiet here. If you are on a bus, if you are on a train, it's just very quiet and very really nice. And that is something you can really miss, uh, especially if you are in like the US or in big cities like London, Paris, like it's so much voices all over the place. And um, it can be like hard to find a place where you don't hear the traffic uh, actually. And uh, here in Sweden, it's so much easier to find like peace and quietness. Uh, we are not so super loud also, which which I like. I mean, that is, I like loud people also. That can be fun, but but still it's something special with the quietness here. So uh, you have to come to Sweden to like, to, to realize and, and see that also. So uh, yes, we take the next uh, thing and that is uh, the costiness here in Sweden. I mean, I can come to other places where it's super nice houses and it's like very, very like uh, new buildings and everything is just perfect and it's, it's just so much, uh, so beautiful and you really want to live there. But here in Sweden we have these like old houses and it's something really cosy here and also something I noticed is that we don't uh, like, yeah, in other places you don't really use the word cosy. You use, you don't use that so much. Here in Sweden we are always like when we want to... Um, uh, to make it nice in a room or make it nice in our house, we just want to make it very cosy. That is the that is something I can I can really miss. It's just the costiness. So we go down to number three, and that is the houses here. Uh, I mean, the houses are cosy looking and they are really beautiful, of course. But what I mean with the houses is actually that they are well isolated. So we are prepared for a cold winter here, but also in the summertime we can have some airflow also in, in some houses at least, but we are we have really well isolated houses, uh, houses. So if you compare to like, yeah, if you go to Italy, for example, or Spain, it can, or, or even some places in the US or so, it can be really, really cold, uh, but that is not the case here, which I really like. Uh, so uh, the number four is the air quality here in Sweden. It's something special with the air quality here. It's so fresh air. I mean, I can't say that it's fresh air if you go out in the traffic in the middle of the city, but still it's so much fresh, more fresh air compared to other big cities I have been to. And uh, if you go to uh, like outside the cities, it's something really special with the air here that I haven't like discovered on other places, even if I come far away from uh, like the cities and to the countryside, the air is really special here. So um, yeah, so, so the air quality here is definitely something I can miss when I'm traveling. So um, the next thing is number five. And uh, I, I don't know, but maybe it's just me, but I am very tall and I, I am also blonde. But what I hear all the time, almost every day, <laughs> where it doesn't matter where I am. Okay, maybe not in the north, like Denmark or Norway or so, but in Sweden, I never hear like, oh, you're so tall. I hear that all the time when I am in other countries. People are just very accepting here and we have so much different pe looking people here. I mean, it's like a myth that everyone is tall and blonde, but uh, yeah, I am tall and I am blonde. And I mean, I am 180, 83 centimeter. And yeah, that might be super tall for some people, for a, for a woman. 
but here in Sweden it's more like normal. I mean, I am still taller than most most of the people here. Uh, I mean, the women, not the men. Uh, so yeah, I'm very tall, but I don't hear that every day, you know. I mean, being tall is something that I really like. That is like, I really, really like to be that tall. But hearing that all the time, it's like, <sighs> not now again, you know. You just see me like a person, not see me as the hate I am, you know. So, so that is something I can, yeah, I can, I can miss like, just being myself, not, not hear comments of, <laughs> about my body, you know. Uh, so uh, yeah, we go to the next thing, and that is recycling. Uh, recycling here is is like super super good. We do it really really well. We have everything very uh, well sorted. Uh, so if you come to other places, I can really miss that that you have to throw things in the garbage that you can actually recycling. Uh, so uh, yeah, that is something I can really really miss in other places, and that is something that other countries should look in look how Swedish people do because we do it so good here. So good to know seven and that is the summer. The summer in Sweden is uh, it's just something special. Like I said, the air quality here is really good and in summertime you can be outside and the summer here is so beautiful. We have so much different berries and uh, flowers and uh, it's just so nice here in, on the summertime. Uh, I mean, summertime, you have summertime on many places on earth, of course, but it's something special with the uh, Swedish summer, like we have the midsummer, and we really celebrate the summer and, uh, and really appreciate it when it comes. So uh, people say that, oh, Swedish people, they also always talk about weather and so on, but that is because we are so passionate about it. We are so fascinated at like wow we, we really have good weather now and we really appreciate it when we have it so yeah that is something i, I really like here uh, so we go to the other side of, of the year when we have christmas time which is the next thing that i really like here i mean new, now we go back to uh, one of the first thing i said and that was the cosiness here in sweden you can celebrate christmas on other places on earth uh, and it's like it can be like very Christmassy with all the lightnings and and everything. But the cozy Christmas here in Sweden, um, like the darkness with the cold and with yeah how we how we have decorations in our houses and how we celebrate. I mean, people think that we just watch TV, and it might be some little truth about that, but it's also absolutely not. So. Christmas time here in Sweden is very special, so that is also something I really like here and I can really miss that if I'm not in Sweden at Christmas time. So we go to the next and that is the nature and the forest and, and the sea. I mean, the nature here is amazing. We have these amazing open areas and the, the forest where you can, you can walk everywhere. You're not uh, suppo uh, supposed to walk everywhere, but here we have actually in Sweden, you can, you can walk everywhere. I mean. Of course, one person can own like a forest or so, but you still can walk in there. It's just that you can't like cut trees or <laughs> or do exactly what you want, you know. But you are free to walk everywhere. So that is something I, I really like here, and it's so beautiful nature here also, like I said. And the islands, wow, the islands here are really really beautiful also, especially in the summertime. And uh, and the next thing is um, the fika culture. You may have heard about fika, that is something we do uh, uh, one or two times per day. We sit down and relax and just take a, I mean, it's normally a cup of coffee and a cake. <laughs> so, uh, but it, it, it can be actually whatever. But if you see like the older generation, they have one fika at around 11, uh, 10, maybe 10, 11, uh, where they just drink coffee, sometimes a little cake and sometimes just coffee. And uh, uh, if you're more hungry, you have a cinnamon roll. And then in the afternoon, you have another fika around three o'clock where you have a cup of coffee and you have a cinnamon roll on more like a cake, more a bigger fika. And uh, the fika culture is something I really, really like. I don't like like cakes and unhealthy stuff and, and coffee and so on, but it's so free. I mean, you can you can drink tea if you want, or you can you can have a smoothie if you want, or or, or you can have a healthy raw food cake. It's very open. I mean, a fika can be what, whatever. 
but something I really like it is because you can just sit down with your friends and talk and hang out and, and just relax. I think that everyone needs that in the middle of the day. You just need to just sit down, have a little break, you know. On some workplaces, it's definitely not enough breaks. But on some places where you work, it's actually on the schedule, like just a little, yeah, fika break. <laughs> it might not be so long, but people really appreciate it here. And it's so nice and it's sort of very cozy to have this little fika. So that is something I grew up with and I can, I can really miss that if I am in, in other countries, like the little time. Uh, yeah, where we just sit down and drink something or maybe eat something small or so. And I also I think it's good to, uh, to, to have something between meals and not just only three big meals. And, or if you go to the US, uh, I mean, I, I go crazy when, when I see people, they eat and they walk on the street, they go and snacking all the time. It's just so unhealthy and it's so unrespectful for the food also. I just, I just don't like that. We, we, don't, we are more here like we do one thing, we eat or we walk. We don't do the same. I mean, at the same time, some people do, of course. I mean, it's also very common here, but it's not like the stressful kind of eating. We are more sitting down and relax. And that is something I can really, really miss when I am in other countries. They're respectful for food. I mean. So yeah, the next thing uh, I will talk about is uh, that we are very respectful for personal spaces. And that could be something good and it can be something that is bad. But if you go to a hotel or if you, if, if you're just going, yeah, it, it doesn't matter where. But if you, if you have a, a bed where it is two people bed, is always, almost always, I would say, at least, only one do it that you should share. But here in Sweden, it's more common that you have one do with each. So, I mean, sharing a, a do it with someone is like, okay, it's your partner, fine. But, but still, you want to have your, have your own space or at least get, yeah, make it possible to have your own space. And uh, we are really, really, really respectful for that. that uh, and also when we are in buses and so on, we are just not... If, if uh, the buses are not super full, we always ask like, can I sit here if, or we just sit another place uh, instead of just beside, beside, uh, beside you uh, if, if there's other places free, so we are more spread out. And I mean, it's less social of course, but we are very respectful. So um, we always ask, uh, yeah, if you are sitting beside someone and you see lots of free spaces. We don't really like that if you don't ask, but I really appreciate that we ask because sometimes you will just, maybe you have had a long di uh, day at work or something, you just want to sit there and relax. And, yeah, so that is something I really like that we, yeah, that we are very respectful for, for uh, yeah, other, uh, uh, others like, um, yeah, personal spaces and so on. So uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it might be more things that I miss, but definitely like we miss the, the double do it. And also, I wouldn't say just the do it, like you have one each. Also, the do it I hear that you actually put the thing in, inside, it's like a shirt. <laughs> uh, so we, in, if you come to other countries, it's not so hygienical, but actually because you have one like, yeah, cover for the bed and then you have a little, small do it and, and you just flip that over and there we go i mean <laughs> and you flip that over and you you lay here but in sweden you actually have a thing that you actually can pull over here so it's more hygienic because when you wash it you're just taking it off so everyone is not sharing the same stuff and uh, it also keeps you more warm at the night so yeah <laughs> so i hope you like this video please give it a thumb up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Have a nice day. Bye.